Hi, and welcome to Lesson 1, The Digital World. This is a brand new video series that's designed to help you in your Introduction to Computers course or your Business Computers Information System course, otherwise known as BCIS. This course and these series of videos is designed to parallel many of these type of classes, these intro classes, that you're going to find at university level as well as high school level. So let me introduce myself real quick. My name is Scott Ford. I have a master's degree in educational technology from Texas A&M. I have several IT certifications, which you can see in this image. I have taught computers to high school students, college students, FBI, DEA, and the United States intelligence community. I have a passion. I love doing this. This is what I really like doing. In fact, about a, over a year ago, I quit my day job in order to develop trainings to help people like you out there on the internet. So this is what I love doing. And you can find me all over social media. For example, if you go to YouTube and you want to find my primary channel for technology, be sure to check out Mr. Ford's Technology. If you want to see my main channel, which has both life science tutorials, mainly anatomy and physiology right now, as well as technology videos, be sure to check out Mr. Ford's class. While you're there, be sure to subscribe so you get the latest information whenever I post new videos. I also have a Facebook page, which you can check out. It's Mr. Ford's Class Learning, as well as Twitter. So the general structure of this series, this is going to help support what we call a flipped classroom. A flipped classroom is designed so you get your content outside of the classroom. You're not actually in class, like in a traditional sense, where the teacher lectures and does PowerPoints and all that stuff and then gives you assignments and homework to take home. These videos are designed for you to watch on your own time and then come to class and work on projects and assignments. By the way, I do use these videos, or I will be using these videos, in my own class that I'll be teaching down here in Texas for Lone Star College. The videos are also designed to be short, between 5 to 15 minutes. And the reason why I'm doing that is because the average attention span is between 15 to 30 minutes. And so by shortening these videos up to this bite-sized chunk, you can watch a video, take a break, go grab some coffee, come back, watch another video, basically watch them on your own time. Now here's something else that's pretty cool. If you're an instructor out there, or if you're a student who might be ESL, what we call English as a Second Language, YouTube has a really cool feature. If you look down below, there's an automatic closed caption option. I did not provide any closed captioning for this video, but YouTube automatically creates a transcript of what I'm saying. It's not perfect yet, but the technology is pretty amazing. So if you are an ESL student, be sure to have that up and running. You can review it. And if you're an instructor, guess what? You just managed to make sure that all your students have access the right way. Okay. In the next video, we're going to take a look at this one right here, which is called Digital Literacy.